What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to a video here, Manny versus the arena in War Robots, the arena mode. You guys requested to see this more, so that's why I'm doing this video right here. And I'm also gonna give you the winners for the 550 Ragnarok robots from the giveaway of last week, okay? But let's first concentrate a little on what's going on right here. You see a battle invader versus invader, okay? And very important in these battles is not losing any damage output at all, okay? You see my weapons are empty because I just fired, and now I am suppressed because he jumped. So what do I do? I do not fire, okay? Uh, I'm just gonna reload my weapons in the time where my weapons are suppressed anyways And then when the weapons are no longer suppressed I will start firing with full ammo capacity again and very quickly get back to the same damage output I would have done if I would not have been suppressed at all all right It's very important never to lose any DPS whatsoever against your other enemy if he's at the same level of strength and, and that also means, uh, you know, to just not fire when you're suppressed. Reload your weapons in the meantime, and this will, this way, essentially, um, you can beat someone who's, in theory, the exact same strength as you, because you don't have any of the suppressed weapons. You have done the exact same damage with, as if you were not suppressed, you just distributed your damage in a different time window. And that's what I've done, that's why I was successful against the other invader right there. And, um, yeah, so, that's one of the things you're gonna have to do in this arena to make sure you end up first and one thing I want to tell you right here guys is I have actually played the arena for four hours and three hours okay I just really played a lot because I I, 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 li I like the bots choices I like the uh, the bots they added oh this guy's last stand I need to fire at somebody else in the meantime getting him locked down makes it very easy to get this guy first um, because it means he can't get close to me if I hadn't been able to lock down the pursuer I would have died before getting the kill against the Hellburner. Trying to lock him down again, but I jump away and the Shock Train Spectre has got me, not the Pursuer now. Um, so yeah, what I was gonna go uh, for is I've played three or four hours the arena mode, and guess what? I actually got myself like seven or six thousand gold from just playing the arena. Uh, I've played like 25 or 30 matches, I don't know how many exactly it was, and uh, I've maybe scored second twice or three times maybe and the others were all first place and that really has given me like I don't know six six thousand or more gold in just a few hours of playing and I had fun on top of that right even collected some silver I think and uh, it was a, really a good experience and I like that arena mode what I really like most of the about this arena is that basically um, you have the free-for-all game mode which you would expect in arena right a free-for-all game mode but you cannot respawn your robots, and I love that. That means you still have to pay attention and be careful with your robots. Uh, you, like, like this, for example, you see, oh man, there's an invader coming from the left. I run away from the invader from the right, and uh, from the left, because I can't win against the invader with the Hellburner. The Hellburner didn't have a chance against the invader, so what do I do? I run away from an invader. I don't go in on a fight that I know I cannot win, right? That's one of the things you're gonna have to do if you cannot respawn your robots. You must conserve what you have and you must play careful and strategic. And that's exactly what this arena made you do and it also rewarded you a lot for doing this. And that's why I liked this arena more than the uh, than the first one that I've played where uh, you could respawn your robots. I really like this here and I think they should keep this game mode where, where respawning is not an option. You have to pay attention and be careful with your robot, okay? Somebody who gets four or five kills super quickly, lucky kill killing blows with that we're all meant for someone else, right? This one is still not necessarily going to win just because he was lucky getting all the kills. It means he has to also do more than that. He may, he also has to watch his bots. If he runs out of robots, he will still lose because people still in the match will outperform him. In this case here, this guy with his Spectre really, really ruined my uh, Pursuer game mode. But I can tell you so much, we're jumping into the Pursuer in just a few seconds. In the next match, I'm jumping into the Pursuer and I'm gonna show you how much one Pursuer can do in this game. You're gonna be surprised to see me do that much with this one single Pursuer on, um, on Shenzhen in a few seconds, okay? But first, um, guys, I'm gonna give you the winners for uh, the Ragnarok robot giveaway. 50 Ragnarok robots I'm going to give away. You guys were also able to choose. However, I've seen that there is so many thousands of comments on the video. 
And uh, I can only give away 50 winners. I only have permission for 50 winners, okay? I wish I could give you like 5,000, <laughs> and that would even still only be like 10% of the winners uh, of, the, of the people who were participated, or I don't know. Maybe 20%, whatever. Uh, but um, I can only give you 50, unfortunately. But that's, you know, we're, ha we're gonna have more multiple giveaways. There's not just this one coming. Next month, we're gonna have another one coming, probably, okay? So there will be more opportunities to win. But I'm already trying to prepare yourself, uh, prepare you guys for the moment when you realize you may not have won because so many people trying to win and I only have 50 I can give away. I go. I hope you guys are not gonna be disappointed or mad at me for it. I can only choose 50, okay? So there's bound to be a lot of people um, who have tried but not win next time, maybe, hopefully, okay? Please don't be upset with me with this. Um, so, um, where you find the giveaway winners is in the video description of this video. You're gonna find a Google Doc file, a document. You can open that. It's uh, it's free for everyone to open and read. Um, not to edit, but to read. And then you can find all the 50 winners I have um, I have gone through. I've just done this to today, right? This It's Sunday right now. It's basically two hours before this video goes live. That's the time window that I'm at at this right moment. And after recording this video, uh, I have, uh, or I will be going through the giveaway video and searching for the winners. I don't have them yet, but um, but they will be in this video when it goes live, in this Google document, in the pinned comment, and the video description, okay? So check the pinned comment or the video description for the Google Doc file, open it, and look your, look through the winners of the, the IDs, and hopefully, fingers crossed, yours is in there. I'm really hoping for it, guys. Alright, um... And what else is there to say? Also, you could also find the winners in the actual giveaway video. I'm gonna post them there too, just to make sure everybody's gonna find it when they're look for it, looking for it, okay? So this is me playing the Pursuer now. And as I said, I'm gonna do a, a lot with this one Pursuer. And you see what I did at the beginning, right? I saw, two, I, I saw an invader there, and then I saw an invader there, and I was like, okay, I know I can't beat them. I know I cannot beat the invader. What I need them to do is fight each other. So what I did is just I just walked away I only have these five robots and if I lose one then I only have four so I'm gonna play everybody but every single robot as best and strategic as I can and that means running away from an invader a fight that I cannot win and my plan was to make these guys fight each other right to make them find each other and they have no other choice but to fight each other if I'm the faster robot and I just run away so and this way I could just come in here activate stealth kill one guy real quick in the end and this guy cannot even jump anymore boom I got two kills and I couldn't even have gotten one of those if I had stayed and fought okay you needed to I needed to run away that was the only choice now we're still alive with a lot of HP and there is another invader and that's what you've seen people do they run their strongest robot this invader most of the time in the beginning and then there was people saying in the comments of the recent no on discord I have the discord group server for the way by the way I'm talking to these guys on discord um, I'm all, not always in the active, but I'm often reading chat and also sometimes responding. And I've talked to people on the Discord community server from people like you, my viewers that joined our Discord. I'm also going to include the Discord link uh, in the video description and pinned comment for you guys in case you want to join our Good Mood Gaming uh, or Friends of the Good Mood community server. And they, are, they have said in this Discord server that the, the invaders are the best robots and everybody spawns in the invader first. It is true that the invader is the most dangerous robot, usually in the beginning, and that's why mostly people spawn in it, but it's not necessarily the winning concept. If everybody spawns in the invader, then you will not have gained anything, you know? The only, ch the only way when the invader is gonna succeed is when the others do not play the invader, and you have an easy go against the pursuers and against the hellburners. That's how your invader was powerful and worth it, right? If everybody runs the invader first, then, you know, it's you're not gonna gain anything because basically you're gonna have a... You have the same strength opponent against you and um, you're, you're just gonna run out of HP on your invader by fighting them, okay? And in this situation, I kind of expected everybody to drop in with the invader first and it worked and I decided to just bail out, wait for the right opportunity and then get the kills. And that's all I needed to do. I only need to get the kills. It's free for all. Boom. And do you see we've already gotten five kills with this one pursuer. Here's the next chance for a kill. 
bop, bop. Unfortunately, somebody else was lucky enough to get the kills. Um, so otherwise, this would have already been the sixth kill. Imagine, with just one Pursuer, and we still have a lot of HP. More than half. And there is already some, you know, it's very important to know your surroundings in this game. To know what's going to happen and know where the danger is coming from. This guy is coming around the corner, and I already bail back into cover, making sure that if he comes out here, I'm not I'm not exposed without any cover, right? What I wanted to do is make sure when I get to, when I when I fight somebody, I have the best possible chance for winning. In this case, I make sure that this guy's last stand is already triggered. Okay, uh, that is very helpful in a few seconds. You're gonna see he's coming around the corner now, and now I'm opening fire, and I got the kill. Without his last stand triggered before, that would have probably not happened, so once again, that was a good thing. Six kills so far, and we're still at more than 50% life, because I'm playing this thing like a quick little, like a little assassin, right? I'm not playing it like a, like a rushing brawler, I'm playing it like a quick assassin that just comes in, sweeps the kill, and gets out. Preferably without taking any damage whatsoever. And I still have last stand too, right? That's you guys know that we still have last stand. I locked this guy down here now, activating stealth, and with this stealth, I'm now able to make them hit, make him use his last stand. It's already ticking, I think, and unfortunately though, he got too close, and now my last stand is triggered. Damn it! Okay, I was hoping I would get out of this still having my last stand saved, but did you see that? I didn't get the kill, by the way. He took my last stand down, and then he killed himself with the overload explosion. Otherwise, this would have been the kill number seven with a Pursuer. Very unlucky. Uh, I should have gotten this kill, but uh, when the invader, uh, the Hellburner dies uh, and he just takes himself out, then you don't get any kill. But he will lose a kill himself, so... I'm running stealth. Somebody has Quantum later running. But I get this guy. Kill number seven with this one Pursuer. And by the way, I just want to say that real quick right here, guys. If you like these kinds of videos... Oh, he jumped. Uh, and uh, you want to see more maybe arena gameplay, just comment in the comment section. Use the opportunity to talk to me. I'm reading your comments very often. And uh, I may not respond to every comment, but I do read them most of the time. And uh, so make sure to use this. By the way, he has used his shield first. He has activated his shields two seconds earlier than I did. You know what that means, right? Bye-bye. And there he goes, and he hasn't even done one point of damage to me. <laughs> Man, I don't know why. Why? Why do he? Why does he keep fi firing? Do not fire against an absorber shield. It's just a simple, basic rule. Do not. You don't fire against uh, an, uh, an um, absorber shield. You just don't. He also did it. He also chose. Yeah, well, he he stopped firing, but he fired two, two shots, kill. and these two shots already boosted my shield enough to kill him. Just don't shoot. If you see a purple shield, stop firing, guys. You will amplify the damage coming in on you afterwards. Right here, I'm having this game accelerated by like, uh, I think six, eight times, eight times more speed or something, uh, because I was du du dueling this invader, uh, this this Hellburner. And you may not know, the, the Hellburner was actually the absolute Ares killer, because the Ares didn't have lockdown. And that's something I want to say. Apparently, even Pixonic has realized that lockdown and Ares is a really horrible combination for the game balancing, because this is literally one of the only robots that doesn't have last uh, lo any lockdown weapons, right? They didn't give the Ares lockdown because they knew it's a bad combination for the ba balancing, right? So it's already telling me that they know this is a problem. And what they also haven't done, they also didn't give it last stand. It's one of the very few robots without last stand in this one. Once again, what does that tell us? It tells us that Pixonic already knows Ares and last stand, mm -mm, not good for the balancing. And the same goes for the lock on, uh, lock on weapons, right? So hoping. I'm hoping with this knowledge that they know this is a problem. Uh, by the way, I, we only have seven seconds on the clock, so I just ran in and killed myself. I know I'm gonna die here, but I just wanted to fight in the end. I knew I wasn't gonna lose the match because of it. And um, yeah, so uh, maybe with this knowledge, they're gonna do something useful like uh, restricting last stand on the Ares. I mean, I know there's a lot of Ares fanboys out there who love their Ares, and I can understand that. Uh, but if we are thinking about the grand scheme of things, the balancing of the game overall, it would really be good if Ares could not get last stand, right? Because it's basically every time you use a last stand on an Ares with maximum level, that means you're gonna have one more time your, your shield, no matter what. Like, there's nothing that can go wrong you'll have your shield twice pretty much all the time there's very rare situations where you can only use your shield once and that's only based off the last stand it would really be a good choice i think if uh, last stand could not be mounted to an aries just uh 
one man's, pers one man's perspective that doesn't have to be in it like it comes that way. I have suggested dozens of changes that never made it into the game. So some people say, oh, Manny, when he says that needs to be nerfed, it's going to be nerfed. No, it's not. I've talked about a million things and they haven't been nerfed, okay? And uh, so don't, don't be worried about this. It's just one man's perspective here. And you can agree, and we can all agree, to disagree too. It's fine, right? You don't have to share my my sentiment or my opinion on, on everything. Right? I'm perfectly fine with having different opinions. And in fact, I'm actually giving hearts in the comments section of my videos to those people who contradict me, right? Not only to those who have the same opinion, I'm also giving hearts, a heart, like a love, to someone on the comments who says, hey, I disagree completely, I have, I see it this and this way, I don't think you're right with this because... Eh, da, 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 da. I'm giving them hearts because I like to, to discuss things, right? If it's on a respectful level, I really like to discuss things and I'm giving people hearts that even have, also, specifically even when they have different opinions also, because I feel like it's, it's, very, it's very cool to discuss things like that. And, um, and I want to direct people's attentions to comments that are interesting to read because there's my responses and other people's responses in there. Boom! I'm suppressing him and even though I've already killed so many things with this invader and even though this invader right there came in with 100% HP, once again I beat him right here before he can beat me because I used my damage up with very smart and he jumped on me first without actually suppressing me very smart. He did suppress me but he landed on a, on a high platform where he could not make use of his suppression. But yeah, so what I was gonna say to you guys, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel and boing, did you see that? That was awesome. That was really funny. Boing. Uh, if you like these videos and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, but you like, you watch, you find yourself watching my content on a regular basis, man, that was, it would be awesome if you guys could also subscribe. It would really mean a lot, a lot to me. Oh man, now I'm getting destroyed. I only have one weapon left. I'm suppressed now and no healing ready. Well, I guess the third or second or how many invader that was is, is one invader too many. Oh, but you see, he's almost done now. He's like 5% health. I've also dropped him almost completely there with my very damaged invader. And I think I may have even been able to get him if... This is why, by the way, why the Hellburner is the Ares killer. Um, I think that... If I hadn't lost my weapons, I may have had a chance to beat him. I'm not sure, but it would have maybe happened. So here I'm running so close against him that he loses his lock-on. The Spectre has now lost his lock-on. And uh, as a result, he says, okay, I can't fire, then I may as well just jump away. And uh, I thought I could get him here with the explosion, but somehow he m managed to get away from my jump, ex from my Hellboner explosion. But don't you worry, guys. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him right here. All right, we're at him, and double boom, kill. double kill. That's right. I made it. I wanted to make sure I use every robot in this video here for you guys. I wanted to make sure I show you some nice gameplay with the Hellburner. I wanted to show you some nice. By the way, look at my health. Okay, he is 100% full. 100% full enemy versus me down to 30% and last stand already, already lost. Okay, boom, the explosion took him down, last stand on him is now trigger triggered, and now I'm using my explosion, running away a little bit, and one, two, and boom. Bye bye, sir. <laughs> that was cool. We got each other there, and I took him with me. So I've shown you some Ares gameplay, I think. A little bit less Ares, but I still showed you some. And I've also shown you the Pursuer, I've shown you the Hellburner, I've shown you the Invader, I think I've... I think I've done my job. Oh, the one thing I haven't shown you yet is uh, the Shock Train Spectre. I guess there are so many videos of the Shock Train, Shock Train Spectre already out there. Here I was trying to lock him down, right? You saw me exposing myself to enemy firepower because I thought, hey, if I get to lock him down, if I am lucky enough to lock him with these three shots, he would be dead. Boom, no chance for him, right? That's That was my thinking. Unfortunately... He did manage to get away, and here is shield back, and the only way to kill him now is to walk inside the shield, and thankfully, with the last stand on this Pursuer, I was also able to do this. And that's the interesting thing, without the lockdown, without lockdown and without last stand, I think the Ares is actually a very well-balanced robot. It's extre extremely dangerous to kill, uh, and, and, and d d d dominant, it's extremely strong and dominant, but without the lockdown ability, at least you have a chance to get inside the shield. If he had lockdown weapons, I wouldn't have been able to walk inside that shield, right? And uh, and if he had last stand, I would also not kill him. If without last stand and without lockdown, the Ares is actually really well balanced. It's dangerous, it's dominant, probably one of the best, but you can beat him at least, right? 
So that's interesting to see. By the way, here, you see these two invaders, they were fighting each other for like, you see where I'm coming from, right? I'm coming from all the way here, okay? So they start fighting each other right now. So that's like a 30 seconds of combat that they have been doing, or like 40 seconds, I don't know. They're fighting each other forever, all right? And then I just come in like, all right, that's yoink, mine, and yoink, mine. Bye-bye, sirs. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> oh, man. Too cool. All right. Yeah, so, guys, that is it. That is Manny versus the arena here. And like I said, I've really given myself, like, 7,000 new gold coins uh, or gold bars or whatever. Uh, AU. Um, just gold currency from playing the arena a couple of hours. If you do find yourself winning a lot... This is really something that can make you uh, get yourself gold like crazy. I'm just gonna tell you this right this much. But of course, if you find yourself on the lower end of the spectrum most of the time, then you should stop playing because it means you're gonna lose your gold. Don't do this, okay? And um, yeah, as I said, please find your winners or find hopefully find yourself as a winner in the video description and the pinned comment, the Google Doc file described as winner document or something. Make sure to open that, check it out. You should also be able to open this on mobile device. It should work, no problem. And uh, and hopefully, really fingers crossed, you find your ID in there, guys. And please, once again, I'm really I can't stress this enough. Please, don't be upset with me if I didn't manage to find you as a winner. I'm trying my best. I'm trying hard to give you guys something back. Um, even if it means I can't reach everybody with it, I'm hoping. At least I'm trying, you know. And uh, we're gonna have more giveaways coming too. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a mankind for more. Thanks for bearing with you guys. Are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye bye.